Hi guys, my name is Meats. This is going to be a review for Robot Spirits or Robot Amashi and we have the G-Silver Flighter pack or with the add-on of that and I think it is an exclusive since we have the shipper box right here and if you're just curious what it looks like just a brown box with some lettering on it and it's mainly for collectors out there they want to keep everything pristine sealed in box within a box yeah <laughs> anyways Getting back to this review, so we have a monochrome colored uh, layout here. Kind of see a little bit of the reflector pack there. Now, this is going to be another blind review, but since I really didn't get into the Jiraco series, it's just one of those kind of hard to get into. Yeah. But I do like the design, and I kind of want to check this out. Um, I did get the regular uh, G cell, which I'll be doing a comparison. But uh, this one is a little different. Uh, they've uh, changed out the color, hence we have the purple hue on uh, this box. Yep. And on here, I got my from, mine from Nippon Yasan. I paid about I can't remember, but it's usually the the exclusive pricing. You double the yen price, and that's how much you pay for it. So that out of the way, let's take a look at the figure. Alright, we got them side by side and notably the color differences are there. Instead of this uh, light blue, you have this purple now and instead of that yellow, you got that uh, light blue as well as the red and you got this uh, shade of blue. You still have the pearlescent blue on the different uh, sides like in the joints, the knee, the elbow, yep. But uh, also for the eyes, you have that gold. Yeah. And for the most part, it's still the same. And also the, the, the white here has that shade of purple as well. It's slightly tinted. So in some sense, this is a uh, G-Self in Trans Am. <laughs> oh, not white, but it kind of is. You have that purple color. Kind of like hyper mode. And uh, let's go over articulation. All right, let's go over articulation. It's gonna be the same as the first one, but it's for the completion of the review, let's go over it again once more. <laughs> All right, so for the neck, you can move it side to side. Just be careful as you move it. You don't want to hold it from the horns here. I uh, can barely look up because of how it, this thing is sitting in the back. The collar is not movable, so your basic uh, range of movement. It's not bad. He can still look down. You have a hinge shoulder armor here. You can move them side to side, rotate them, and you have a bicep swivel. Elbow is not too bad, 90 degrees. It would be nice if it's double jointed. Then uh, you have the torso here, which uh, you have a little bit of play in the uh, mid torso. Then you have the waist. Uh, it's it's kind of limited, but you're not going to be turning as much on the waist here. The front skirt is slightly different from your typical uh, damashi. Usually the joints are connected this way, but this is actually ball jointed towards on the back there. And uh, that probably gives it a bit more articulation as you swing this forward. Yep. As well as this one. And I have this little gimmick here where you can slide out this panel. There's no way to activate it. You gotta slide it yourself. <laughs> but it's an added gimmick. And I just pop out mine. There we go. You got side skirt here, and I think the back skirt is fixed. But you do have a ball jointed side skirt there for range of movement. You get a little bit of a tie swivel here. It's actually mo mostly connected on the ball joint right there. Knee bend, not so much, similar to the elbow. It's not quite, uh, it's actually only one hinge there. Or, the one joint, it's not double jointed. You got this rotating, kind of like, I guess a booster on the side here. I'm not sure we got it. I'm not, it didn't really quite get that far with the series. It's just one of those kind of hard to get into. Yeah, and the anime, sometimes it just, yeah. I do like the Gundam design, or the the robots in general, or well, 
I'll show you the proper difference mobile soon. <laughs> and we have the foot here. The shin guard is connected on that front part, which I'm not too fond of. I'd rather have them on the side or another way. Just when you have in this pose, you kind of see it. And I think this back side here is movable. And you have the toe part as well. So you have a little bit of movement here and there to get your uh, toes pointed out if you want to. And I think that kind of covers forward articulation. Where for accessories, you're gonna get your shield. This is not that different from the first one. So you got two shields now. And same thing with the rifle. It's not that different from the first one. So if you want a dual wield, go for it. Yep. Likewise, you can have your basic set of hands. Uh, you have your closed fist, then you got a lot more here. You have the open hand, the one for holding the rifle as well as for the beam saber. I kind of find this a little too large comparing with the closed fist. Yeah, look at that difference in size. We're probably going to use this later on. And you do have uh, the Tamashi uh, connector peg if you want to connect this this way. You don't really need, necessarily need to use this, but it's a given option. And you have the beam saber right here. There we go. Quite nice. And they are detachable. Kind of forgot where they're supposed to attach to. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> you got two of them. We're probably going to use them in a bit. And... That's that. I think it's basically what I've just covered right now. It's the same as the robot dumb or the regular version of the G self. Now let's get to the fun part. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is the basic backpack as which we can attach here, and I think it attaches. I always get this confused. This way. Let's go with that. <laughs> All right, and um. We have also this part here, which will be connected this way. Alright, so um, you have all this cable here, and it's basically all the panels. It's also a little troublesome to connect this because you're connecting in multiple points. And some of them, if it's your first time putting it on, it doesn't uh, fit quite well. And you kind of got to get it in there. Then once it loosens up, the next time you do it, it's not too bad. Alright, so this part has articulation here. Uh, right now, there's not much other than that peg connection there. So, there we go. That's kind of like your um, deployment where everything's still packed together. And once you're out there, you want to start opening the panels. Quite fun. So, uh, for this, I would suggest to take this off. And we're going to be putting several other things here. So, I'll just, just set this aside. Now we're going to start opening this. And some of them are just going to break away in half. There we go. They're not really numbered. Uh, you don't really need to. So you got this really nice, kind of like silver. It's a little bit pearlescent in color. Kind of curious of uh, how it'll react with you know, different colors and how it's going to bounce. Maybe cool to test out. But um, this part here, we don't need this anymore. So store this somewhere. And uh, we're gonna take this out. There's a lot of peg system here. So this one will stay, the one on top, we're gonna set this aside. Now this one's gonna be separated and, and it'll open up. So let's put this away here. Uh, let's open this up, here we go. And just get the yeah, you know, trying to separate them. There we go. And take your time. <laughs> These pegs, once uh, you break them, that's it. It's not gonna be easy uh, finding ways to fix that. All right, uh, and it's just held by that peg right there for that one. Same thing here. Uh, probably just demonstrate one side, since it's the same as the other. So open all, uh, all that up and you grab one side so basically either way and there's another piece here which just connect on top here 
and they're gonna be all yeah we're gonna sp uh, spread this out now to connect this there's a little uh, indentation here if you see that and this is for this and we're just gonna connect it like so there we go so this is the front where you can actually fill this outside and you want to have that reflector thing in front obviously then the next part here is just a t-bar there we go and you just do it here as well so it's actually not too bad you're not gonna get confused I mean it only goes one way and next part is putting this on now configuration of this one is I guess it really doesn't matter whichever you want to put it as long as you match those so uh, I'm just gonna go this way there we go there's a little uh, dip there or uh, not sure. it's a little extra it's not a knob mark <laughs> um, but Maybe I'll, I'll use this as a, a good indicator point. I'll put it outward. <clears throat> and the instruction will probably give you a better uh, orientation, but at, I think at this time, or at this point, it doesn't really matter whichever you have that pointed out. So that's one side. Let me do the other one. All right, I'm still kind of setting up here, but here we go. So I have him on the Tamashii stage number five. You got this, uh, Kind of like a kite looking base and you can use any other uh, tamashi bases out there there we go so i got one side here and it doesn't really matter actually actually this one only goes in this side <laughs> you just attach it there we go likewise you do the same for the other side right here and connect it there we go all right now on the back part, you're going to have this new connector part here. Now, I think from the instructions, you're supposed to do it this way. So I guess he has some kind of protection on the back. This is the shiny part. But for photography or when you take shots, I kind of like to put it on front here. And for some weird reason, they didn't have the same uh, T-bar here. There's actually a little bit of excess in the middle. That's something that you might want to trim if you want to do it this way. So that's what I did. I trimmed that. Therefore, I'm able to do it this way. I'm not sure which one is in the bottom or the top. It's kind of hard to, you know, to, to really see, but it doesn't really matter. You can always rotate that. There we go. Put this on here, actually. Maybe this way. There we go. And there you have it. You got this reflector pack here and uh, reflect uh, I'm not really sure when he used this, but I guess it's meant to either observe the uh, absorb and reflect it back. But yeah, um, it's nice. It's a nice uh, looking shield, and it actually kind of reminds me of uh, Double X, you know, Gundam Double X or. Gundam X, we have that kind of wing to absorb um, like the moonlight or some kind of beam and uh, shoot it back. <laughs> and um, other than that, I mean, you can still have this the weapon set. And actually, I'm gonna go, just go ahead and swap the hands. Kind of want to give him the melee look, although it's not gonna be meleeing with this. But why not? It looks like wings. Right, so I'm going to swap the hands with this. And again, that looks a little bigger compared to the other one. It's interesting. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's just going to look a little off. But um, uh, it's one of those that you rather have it a little bigger. Because if it's too small, it might uh, make the hands a little too fragile. But anyways. Here we go. And that looks really nice. All right, there we go. It's shaking too much. <laughs> 
Yeah, um, I'm not sure where else we can put the shield, but uh, yeah, you don't really need a shield for this. And there you go. G Self with the reflector pack. It looks really nice. It's a nice up piece. And let me put it here. Let's have uh, G Self again on the side here, or the regular version. Yep. And obviously, if you are curious, uh, I think you can swap them out. Actually, let, let me try that. Let's swap it out. I even check if it's the same connection. It probably is. For those who are wondering if you want to use a regular G Self, here we go. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Not that different. But for me, I'm probably just going to keep it the way it is. There we go. And I think they're going to make more of this. I think there was one that's a uh, green and I think there's a torque. That was the code name for it. Um, if it does come out, I'll uh, we'll be sure to check it out. Maybe I'll get it. I'll probably have to see more images. At first glance, it was it looks great, but I thought it was like a powered suit, but it's more for mobility. We'll see. And then you also, I think they're also going to release the Assault Pack, which is the ridiculously huge red thing. I may have to <laughs> see first. Yeah, we'll see. And then depending on the pricing, it might be ridiculous as well. Anyways, that's about it for the GSOF uh, exclusive review. I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, I got mine from Nippon Yasan. It's a good place to check out the exclusives. Anyways, um, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, again, let me know. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.